everybody, uh, this is Jason Ritchie, and I'm here today to teach you about holding a microphone, in particular, holding a 57 or any kind of a stick mic. Okay, here's what you're after. It doesn't matter whether it's a bullet mic or a stick mic or even your hands, with my hands wrapped like that coming in. As opposed to, you get that compression and that bass. That's what it's about. Some of the people that use this use the thing called the bulletizer. They get their space cupped in that, and they cup around the front like a bullet. Um, I like the sound of my hands of just skin. When and I and how I do this is, a lot of people think, get the bulletizer because they think it makes it easier to hold, and maybe for them it does, but. For me, I'm really not extending a lot of energy when I'm holding a mic. See, I got my little finger, and I just kind of balance it in there so it's leaning right on there, and that's it. I'm not squeezing hard at all. I'm just letting it hang. Then the other kind of finger goes over there and then in there, and I create this airtight seal. My hand looks like this. And I put the other hand on it, see like this, and then cup it off. So that's what's up with that. Um, anyway, I'm just playing through my amp here, <laughs> or uh, Doc's amp. It's a uh, 410 over there in the corner. It's a harp gear. It's fake pointing at the corner so it doesn't distort, distort. As opposed to. It's pretty good. You can get, when you get the, a lot of it's here. I'll tell you a story. One time I was playing uh, the uh, uh, Sunny Boy Blues Society contest. This was in 95. And I had just moved to Memphis like two days before and then heard about the contest and went down and I entered and I won. But before that happened, a girl asked me, who was in another band coming up, if she could just use my amp. And I was going off stage. I felt good about my set. I said, sure, yeah, go ahead, right? So she uses my amp and then she comes back and starts yelling at me and telling me that uh, it didn't sound as good. So I said, play into it. And she went... <laughs> And I said, let me try it. And I grabbed it. And she realized it was how she was holding the microphone. That you got to really cup it. And that's what I told her. I said, I'm really sorry. You know, I didn't, I didn't sabotage you. This is why. If you got to hold it like this. So it's amazing, really, uh, what a difference it makes. And, you know, when you, with a 57, just remember, just to hang it like that. Hang it like that. Just get, let it hang. Be natural. You don't have to cup it hard. I got like a little space here between the harp and my finger. See? See that little cavity in there? That's like where my little pocket is. And then I just come up in here and... And I can get closer to it like this if I want to. And kind of get a different tone or let it out. Or in two very subtly different little tones that I can get. And sometimes I do play with just one hand up. About, I'd say almost 80% of my tones coming right out of my hands. Anyway, pretty cool. I hope you dig it. Um, the pedals that I'm using are listed below, and as well as a, a link to where to get them. And uh, please drop my name when you pick it up, Lone Wolf Products in particular. Drop my name, and uh, who knows what will happen. So anyway, thanks very much. I hope you liked the video, and wasn't something you already knew like 200 times better than me.